in that bedroom. We have a very um, girly European. Yeah, the, what she means is you do it my way or it's off with your head. <laughs> <laughs> no, it, it, I'm very good at, uh, we're, we're a pretty good team actually in the remodeling uh, department because I'm good at uh, the floor plan. I'm good at the laying out of uh, how space gets used and Tanya is uh, an uh, expert decorator. I don't have that kind of taste. She'll make everything look wonderful. Well, I, I have a lot of fun with, you know, sorting through fabrics and being creative that way. Um, it's always fun to be able to, to do a project and see the final result and be able to share that. So I was really thrilled to find out we were on HGTV here in Canada because it's one of my favorite. I, I watch every show on HGTV because there's always a final product. You learn something new. And I hope you guys like what we did. Oh, boy, not everything we did was fancy. We should make that no, clear. You go from functional. the pink bedroom to the septic tank. We do a septic tank episode. And kicking horses out of their stalls so we can uh, add a storage room and yet still having to uh, uh, keep the horses happy. So uh, we, we've had some challenges. Are you afraid that uh, Mike Holmes is going to come in with a crowbar and tear it all down? Well, we, we, we even have crowbars on the show. In fact, we have crowbars and sledgehammers. Tanya picks up a sledgehammer on a couple of occasions. and uh, I think uh, I did it once, and I was very upset with myself because I always consider myself a tough girl, and and uh, I picked up the sledgehammer, and that thing was so heavy. I was like, oh, my Lord, i got to work out before I pick that thing up. And Tanya, I understand there's an episode where you decide it would be a neat idea to meet some of your social media haters, which is yeah. Really, yeah, what happens? Well, um, I meet my social media hater. She goes all Taylor Swift. And, <laughs> <laughs> and at first, you know, it's what you expect it to be, but I kind of really want you to see that episode, because it has a nice twist to it at the end. And I think it's, it's it, you need to confront your haters, and it, there's so much hate out there in social media, and I worry about the kids today, I wonder, my gosh, Growing up as a teenager, how would I have handled that? The fact that I am an older woman and I am a very confident and a strong woman, what about those young kids out there that are just learning about themselves, finding out about themselves? So I just kind of wanted to give them a little glimpse into what it would be like if you did confront somebody and there was a happy ending. Yeah, they, they, they meet at a bar, by the way. And so uh, yeah, it, it, it doesn't always go well when you play. <laughs> you haters and alcohol. It'd be a great thing if you had to communicate in 140 letter sentences. Uh, the usual gallery of coming and going celebrities, but this time not as much a cameo. You kind of really get them wound up into the whole thing. Yeah, they're yeah. more into Ryan to the storyline this time. Mm -hmm. yeah, they, they are uh, integrated. Uh, uh, but the, the episode we're just talking about, Wayne Brady. Uh, uh, is, 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 yeah, well, yeah, he ends up uh, involved uh, at the end, is integrated at the end of the uh, Haters episode. But um, uh, with, with lots of fun and a few surprises. Thank you so much for this, and uh, good luck for season two. Thank you. Thank you Great seeing you, John. We'll, we'll come back and talk about season three. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. That's Alan and Tanya Thick. The name of their new show, Unusually Thick under construction. It's on HGTV. Thanks a lot for listening to this edition of Conversations. I hope we'll talk again soon. Listen online anytime at cjd.com or on your smartphone. Good afternoon. It's 5 o'clock. I'm the channel. The uh, heat warning remains in effect. The current temperature 28 degrees. Full weather coming up after the news. And here is what's making news right now. Urging the federal government to bring more autonomous sponsored refugees to Canada. That stolen port of Montreal container has been found. And bad news for Jeannie at the U.S. Open. From the CJ 8800 Traffic Center, Jill Fitzgerald. And it looks like there's an accident inbound Champlain span closer to the beginning of the span rather than the end of the traffic on the 10 inbound. It's busy before Tashiro. We have road work at the Mercier Bridge down to one lane per side until Monday at 5 o'clock. And no problems inbound, but we still have a bit of a wait, although things are improving for the southbound side. So about 15 minutes over at the Jacquardia Bridge, also one lane per direction until Monday at 5 a.m. You're losing time from Sherbrooke on Papineau southbound. A delay still with you right across the span itself. Inbound side is from Lafayette. On the island, traffic is looking a good. We just have the normal volume between Lafayette and Saint Laurent. Lorraine Chaudhary southbound is heavy.
Circuit City eastbound is from Code Fair 2, and service has resumed on the Great Metro line. For its 55th, the Benny and Code Choice meal is at 555, and it's sold for 55 cents. Wednesdays at the Benny and Code Counter, tasty, delightful. Traffic and transit every 15 minutes on CJ8800, your next report at 515. In the news, the NDP wants to help the government to adopt an accelerated plan to bring more than 46,000 government-sponsored refugees to Canada by 2019. Foreign Affairs critic Paul Dewar says the time to act is now. We have reached out to the government now because we don't need to wait until October to start this work. Let's agree on a Syrian refugee coordinator right now and put them in charge of a multi-departmental effort to make this happen. After resettling 10,000 government-sponsored Syrian refugees by the end of this year, an NDP government will increase the number by 9,000 per year for the next four years. Downtown Montreal has been the scene of a rally this afternoon in support of European refugees. Ottawa is being urged to do more to help them eliminate red tape and accelerate processing after two young Syrian boys and their mother drowned. A picture of the lifeless three-year-old brother on a Turkish beach shocked millions. Rosalind Wong, an organizer of today's event, says public dialogue has definitely changed. People are asking, hey, the the reality refugee and demanding that, in fact, courageous people um, be allowed She's encouraged by a swell of support for the refugees. Europe continues to receive thousands of refugees fleeing war-torn countries and conflict zones. More from Spain News Asia correspondent Alex Rossi. The refugees arriving, they've come from Vienna on this train. Lots of them, of course, starting their journey in Budapest this morning. But the reaction here in Germany could not be more different. This gentleman blowing kisses to Germany, clearly very, very relieved to arrive here. Police have analyzed an empty container in a Bontigny stolen at the Port of Montreal on Wednesday. A cargo container said to have $10 million worth of silver metal was stolen in broad daylight. No arrest has yet been made in the case. There are concerns Times Square is becoming less wholesome. The New York Police Department is assigning plainclothes officers.